I feel like um, if there's any indication of, I feel like, you know, here at the studio, it is, it is freezing. We've got lots of goosebumps here, but I guess it's getting us used to what we can all expect this weekend. Yeah, the perfect emoji I could think of this morning, Dennis, that blue, cold, like, like <laughs> face this morning. That's how I would describe it in an emoji, how I'm feeling this morning. And I'm sure you are all feeling it this morning. Because it's downright cold this morning, everyone. The time is 6.18. As you are beginning your Friday, it's a clear, but it's a downright cold start. Look at these temperatures as you're heading out the door in St. Joseph. It's 32 right now. We are exactly at the freezing mark. But when you factor in those west winds coming in at 15 miles per hour right now, it's making it feel like 22 degrees out there. For mid-April, Burr is the right word you want to say this morning. And I'm hoping you either covered up your plants or brought in that tender vegetation because freeze warnings remain in effect through 9 a.m. this morning for most of the KQ2 viewing area, including Donathan and Atchison counties in northeast Kansas and Buchanan and Platt counties in northwest Missouri. Look at these temperatures this morning. It's 33 right now in Atchison, 32 into Hiawatha, Mount City, Rockport, Maryville, 33 right now in Maysville, 32 in Cameron into Kansas City. So definitely a frigid start to the day and also the winds are not helping it. Right now the winds are sustained anywhere from 15 to 20 gusting up to 25, 30 miles per hour and unfortunately it is going to be a breezy day for us along with those cooler temperatures but not as windy as where it was yesterday when we had that strong cold front pass through. The good news is the winds will die down heading into the weekend but unfortunately, the cooler below average temperatures will stick around. So parents, as you are getting that morning routine of getting the kids ready for the bus stop and for school this morning, they will need a good coat and jacket as temperatures are in the 30s, only going up into the 50s by the afternoon. And unfortunately, it will stick around heading into the weekend. Our average high for this time of the year is 65 degrees. We're going to be 10 degrees below average of that heading into our Saturday. We'll see mostly sunny skies. And then, unfortunately, heading into the weekend, I am tracking a system that is unfortunately going to give us a chance of a rain, possible rain snow mix heading into early Sunday morning just because of how chilly it's going to be come Sunday morning. But I can reassure you heading into next week, it is going to be a completely different story. So hang in there. Right now we are dealing with the mostly clear skies, just a few clouds on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar. One system is exiting the central plains while another system is moving into the Four Corners region, and this is going to be responsible for our rain, possible rain snow mix chances heading into Sunday morning. So let's go ahead and take a close look at your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. It is going to be a quiet weather day for us today. I am expecting a mix of sun and clouds. Again, it's going to be breezy out there with those west winds picking up. Temperatures by the afternoon only going up to the upper 40s to lower 50s. We'll see clear skies heading into your Friday night, into your Saturday morning, before we start seeing an increase in cloud cover heading into your Saturday afternoon, followed by those scattered chances of a rain rain snow mix heading into your Sunday morning. Something we'll be watching very closely. Keep it tuned to KQ2. 52 for your high today with that mix of sun and clouds. Again, it's going to be a breezy and cooler one. And expect more of those below average temperatures heading into the weekend. Once we get past Sunday morning, Jane, things are going to look a lot better for us heading into next week with 70s and 60s making a comeback. Yeah, we have some scattered rain chances next week. But at least they'll be feeling a lot more like spring next week. Yeah, definitely a lot more like spring next week. Thanks, Vanessa. We're going to turn now.